Hello everybody, welcome back to another tech tip here at 45 Drives and today we've got another uh, entry in our analogy series, so why don't we get into it. So like we've said before, we love analogies here. If you already know a concept, you appreciate a good analogy. If you don't know the concept, you feel a little safer in learning something you don't already know. So anyway, what's today's analogy? We're talking about how ZFS writes to a zpool, or the underlying disks, to speak a little more bluntly. So let's get into that. ZFS writes to a zpool the same way a child cleans its room. There's the analogy. No. Let me give you some more. Let me paint a picture, if you will. So picture this, ladies and gentlemen. You're in your room. You got clothes everywhere on the floor. You've got a closet, and you're sitting there doing nothing. You hear a, your mother bangs on your door, says, clean this up. We got people coming. So you got to get to work. So in this case, in this scenario, your closet, that's your z-pool. Your clothes on the floor, that's the data. So how does a child clean the room? They just start hucking stuff into the closet. ZFS does the same thing. It just throws bunches of writes into the pool. Pretty much like that. Um, now, for those unfamiliar, some may know, everyone knows around ZFS, as it fills up, it starts to slow down. The write speed slows down. In this analogy, it's the same thing. As you're filling that closet full of clothes, as it's chucking them in, eventually it gets full. You run out of room to just jam stuff in. You have to slow down and kind of place things up in a corner up there, or maybe move something and move it over there. That's the exact same way the data is written to a z-pool. As it fills up, it slows down. Your effective throughput, your effective ability to move clothes off your floor into your closet comes down. So the lesson here is clean your room. No, I'm joking. The lesson here is for anyone with a z-pool, it will slow down if it gets too full. So what you're going to want to do is put a quota on there. Put a little notice when it gets to 80%, let yourself know time to expand, get it bigger, move some data around. Because at a certain point, It'll be too full and your rights will tank. All right, so I hope you like that analogy um, on how CFS does its rights. So um, with that said, keep in mind, why are we doing these analogy series? We put out a video about doing best, best practices, uh, data backup and everything with CFS servers. And uh, we decided to do a couple of these little offshoot videos, almost as little appendixes or appendici. Don't know what the right word is there. But my point is, if you liked this one, go check out our other video, The Best Practices with CFS. Uh, a little bit of a longer one, but a lot of good meat in there, so check that out. And what I want to end on, a little call to action here to use marketing's words, um, we love analogies. You guys love analogies. Do you have any good ones for us? Any tech-related analogies that you've heard and, and um, want to share back? Or do you have any topics you want to see if we can break down and give a good analogy for? We'd love to hear from you. So with that, hope you liked it. Catch you next time.